We're sponsored by Super Go Trainers. They're very cool guys. Um, definitely should check the website out. And uh, they told me to look at their store, which is, I mean, their store is looking pretty impressive already. So it says handmade account service level 25 for 30 bucks. Like, I mean, that's pretty good. Like, in all honesty, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty tempting. Um, especially if you're a new player and you're trying to get like an alt account or something. 30 bucks, nothing really for a level 25 Pokemon Go account that you don't have to level up yourself. If you're a spoofer, eh. But, I mean, if you're a legit player, this is actually pretty good. Now, some of these are actually decent, like legendary Groudon service. For 10 bucks. you can have someone go out and find a Groudon for you. Think about that. That's pretty insane to me. Um, legendary Kyogre service, um, 100 IV Gen 3 and 4 Pokemon Go Pokemon service. That's pretty good. Like, they just walk around and then they find a, po uh, a 100 IV Pokemon for you. At your request, by the way. And that's only $550. So, that's pretty good. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Super Guard Trainers is a really cool account. A uh, really, really cool website to um, boosting your account. You should definitely give them a try. And that's why they're the sponsor of this video. So let's get right in. So in this video, I've been going going, going to go over error 11 fixes, um, error 12 fixes, um, the blank, blank map problem where like you can load into the game, but nothing nothing else loads, like Pokestops don't load and everything. Um, Pokemon Go crashing, or um, I can't sign into Pokemon Go after downloading certain Google Play services. I can't uninstall Google Play services. Unable to authenticate, rubber banding. Um, so these are all the common issues in Pokemon Go, and I'm going to be going over how you can actually fix them, and there if there are any ways to actually get around them. All right, so the first thing is error 11. Now, even if I just walk around here, you probably see me get a lot of error 11. And error 11 is basically just a loss of GPS signal from your phone. So it's nothing to worry about. It's definitely not a bannable offense, because all legit players actually get error 11 once in a while as well. And the, the best way to actually uh, remove this error is to actually just move the joystick. All you gotta do is, as you can see, I do here, move the joystick slightly and usually this will get rid of it. And uh, also I'll remember that none of the map or Pokemon or Poke stops will actually load when error 11 is on your screen. So make sure it's gone before trying to load stuff. Okay, um, and there's also one more fix is try playing on mobile data rather than Wi-Fi for error 11. Um, sometimes people get this error uh, doesn't, I don't know why. I, I Personally, I'm fine with using Wi-Fi. Uh, I do airplane mode, but that's just me. So, um, and as you can see, I'm in San Francisco, so we have a ton of... We have a raid, which I'm going to do later. Error 12 fix. So, um, error 12 is a bannable offense, or a bannable error, really. So, um, if you're getting it constantly and it's not going away, I highly recommend just, uh, just trying to reset Pokemon Go, like clearing the cache and clearing data so that... Um, you actually reset the game so that you don't get recorded with error 12 because it's actually a bannable um, offense as Niantic actually knows that you're spoofing if you have this. And if this is a constant error, make sure to close Pokemon Go and stop using FGL Pro right away. Okay, um, some of the settings in, in uh, FGL Pro that you need to enable to make sure that you don't have this error are secure mocking, which is the first, the first option. Make sure you have that. Um, and make sure your application is selected in developer options mocking location. Um, if, if the FGL Pro... Uh, mocking method of this one gives you um, error 12 try the mocking method one and three personally i use two um, and if, you, if fgl pro still doesn't work with all these three um, i highly recommend actually checking out the ad free version of fgl pro i don't know it's kind of different because it's not really the play store version of the application so niantic may not be able to detect it on your phone um, if it still doesn't work though i would highly recommend uh, checking out some of the other fake gps apps um, i've made a video on this before but i'll make a video on them again very very soon um, those those apps are also safe, but personally I used FGL Pro because I feel like it's the best one. So um, sometimes when you're playing Pokemon Go, you get a blank map. Um, so basically, what happens is none, none of the map will load, right? So um, you're gonna you're gonna see uh, a blank screen with just the roads on the on the roads and the ocean and stuff like that. No Pokemon, no gyms, nothing at all. And it's really frustrating, and sometimes I get this as well. Um, and one of the main reasons is try playing on mobile data rather than Wi-Fi. Now it's really annoying if you don't have mobile data like me, but uh, usually what I do is I just close the game and then reopen it, which which usually works, so that's it, yeah. Um, and if, if every time you get the, if every time you get that map error, always try and clear maps, uh, clear the cache and data, data of uh, the maps, which is, I can do it right now, I can show you guys. So if you go to settings, uh, you go to applications, installed apps, open maps, uh, hello? Okay, there. Wait, I don't know why I didn't search there. Just clear data, clear cache. Really, really simple. And uh, usually, you should be able to do it. Of course, you gotta. If once you clear clear cache and data, you need to reset Pokemon Go. You just need to close Pokemon, force close it, and then restart it. 
Okay, the next error is Pokemon Go crashing and Google Play services keeps updating. So one of the things, um, if, if Google Play, Google, Pokemon Go keeps crashing, it's usually because Google Play services is updating in the background without you giving permission for it to do so. So one of the things that you must do is go to the Play Store and actually disable this or else it's gonna be really frustrating. So you just wanna go to settings, uh, auto update apps, uh, make sure that do not auto update apps. And if this doesn't work, one of the things that you can actually do to make sure that Google Play services doesn't auto update is go to Google Play Store and just completely disable it. And what this does is basically, Google Play Store manages all the things that you download onto your phone from Google Play Store. And since Google Play services downloads from the store, if you disable the store, it won't be able to download any uh, updates, which means that um, Google Play services will not auto update if you disable this. So how do you do this? Well, you click force stop, you can click that, or you can just restrict data usage and make it so that it just doesn't, it just, it won't be able to use any of your data at all. Um, and this is usually the most common problem. If, if Pokemon keeps crashing though, I highly recommend just like turning off your phone, switching it back on, because usually that's one of the problems with it. It's your phone's using too much uh, too much data or too much RAM on it. But yeah, so if it keeps crashing, of course, just 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 reset things. That's that's the only that's the best way to fix things is by resetting things because usually you did something wrong. So for, and for uh, Android Samsung users only, um, there's a there's a links page in our Discord. Um, of course, if you haven't joined our Discord, you probably should be there. Um, and you basically you want to do is uh, there's a thing called the Package Disabler Pro 12.5, and what this does is it gives you all the instructions and uh, it gives you like an updated version of Maps, which is compatible with uh, Pokemon Go, and it's got like a bunch of instructions to specifically on how to get rid of this uh, this uh, Google Play services keeps updating bullcrap. So. Uh, one of the other common problems that people get after they downgrade uh, Google Play services is they can't sign into Pokemon Go. Sometimes I get this too, um, and what I have to do is I have to click, uh, so usually what I get is like a fail to sign in or something like that, and it'll say try your uh, retry or try another account. Um, the, the fix to this is act to actually um, click retry. Um, if it doesn't work, of course, click uh, sign into another account and then just log back in. But whenever you click uh, try with another account, you have to close Pokemon Go and then clear data, clear cache, and then reopen it, or else it's just gonna detect that you're the same person and it's not gonna work. Which is really frustrating, but sometimes it works like that as well. And uh, of course, try playing on mobile data uh, rather than Wi-Fi, and make sure that the version, the correct version of Google Play services is installed. But before we continue the video, guys, um, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, www.letsgoaccounts.com. Um, basically, if you wanna buy a Pokemon Go account, you should definitely check them out. The link of the, for them is in the description. Uh, the promo code is your screwed, and uh, they have accounts that are like hand leveled up, so there are completely no chance of being banned. And yeah, if you need an account, that's where you get them. So let's keep on going with these problems. Uh, I can't install Google Play services. I'm able to install because app is a device administrator. So um, like I've, I've explained this in like the video before. Um, basically, you just find, you gotta find your um, privacy settings and then your device administrators and make sure that find my device is turned off because this is very, very important. And make sure that Google Pay, apparently, Google Pay is uninstalled. Um, and uh, yeah, if you updated your phone very recently, it's most likely an update that is trying to counter this method. So just try and keep downgrading. Make sure you don't really update anything major on your phone or else it's gonna be really, really um, frustrating when you keep trying to install Google Play services as it's gonna be, it's always gonna be a newer version. Now, uh, unable to authenticate. Now, sometimes when, when you're logging into Google, uh, Pokemon Go, obviously, um, you get the error where you're um, unable to authenticate. Uh, sometimes, um, it seems that usually I get this error when uh, either I use FGL Pro for too long. So what I usually do is I uninstall and then reinstall Pokemon Go, or I do the vice versa and I just clear cache and clear data for uh, FGL Pro and Pokemon Go. And usually it's able to fix it. Uh, basically just uh, click sign out, close Pokemon Go, reopen it. Sometimes I don't even have to do anything, but I usually just repeat it three or four times and after a while I just get it. Um, of course, the last resort to this is uh, you need a factory reset. So if you, you're still unable to authenticate and you're sure that you aren't banned, then one of the things that you can actually do is factory reset your phone. I highly recommend not doing this until you're very, very certain. Let's actually catch this Whalemore or whatever this Pokemon is, I don't care. Um, make sure uh, that you aren't banned uh, before actually doing this because it's gonna be, it's annoying to factory reset your phone. And the last problem we have here is the rubber banding fix. Now, some people um, say that they, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm teleporting with FGL Pro, but I keep teleporting back to my real location. Um, one of the main root causes causes of this is the fact that you're spoofing way too close to, actually, to your actual uh, location. 
And what this does is um, it tricks FGL Pro or it tricks your phone into thinking you're actually at your current location. So my advice for this would be to either spoof farther away from you actually are. And uh, of course, make sure you have the correct Google Play services version. And of course, you can try a different version of FGL Pro because uh, your your uh, device may not be able to pick up the uh, that version of F FGL Pro. Holy crap, I cannot speak. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the video today, guys. Um, I hope if uh, you got if you got like a problem fixed with some of these tips, um, put it down in the comments below. And of course, join the Discord, guys. Uh, we're almost a thousand members, and uh, hopefully, we can get back to that glorious, glorious 3K that we were at before. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, probably next week, most likely next week.